Next on Sagwa. That must be Uncle Meow, Shigwa. It's a great honor to be here. <sighs> Don't you like history? I hate history. Help me, Sagwa Dongwa. Whoa! Is you're safe, Shigwa. We're all safe. We may not be. Look! Shigwa, your great great uncle will be arriving soon. Well, as you see, this is the library. I think he's the Emperor's historian. Uncle Meow works for him. Now, let's get you settled into the guest house. Uncle Meow, it is a great honor to welcome you to our home. It's a great honor to be here. Uh, where am I, anyway? Oh, yes, of course, it's you, Baba Meow. And you, Mama Meow. How wonderful to see you both again. And these must be your children. Ah, you must be Dongwa, and you must be Shigwa. But I thought there was a third kitten, too. I'm Shigwa, and I'm Sagwa. Dongwa is our brother. Oh, right, right. This part of the palace was built about 200 years ago, but actually, that makes it newer than the rest of the palace. They say that some of our Miao family ancestors lived in the palace when it was built by the Emperor about 2,000 years ago. 2,000 years ago? Wow! Are you telling us the Emperor is 2,000 years old? No, Sagwa. I'm talking about one of his ancestors who built the palace. <sighs> oh, what's the matter? Don't you like history? I hate history. Oh. Oops. Hmm. Dongwa, I want you to apologize to Uncle Meow right now. I'm sorry I was disrespectful, Uncle Meow. Apology accepted, Dongwa. I understand. What are your plans for the rest of the day, Uncle Meow? I thought I might go exploring. Oh! In the library. <gasps> I want to see if I can track down that story about our ancestors and the Emperor's ancestor, if it's true, it means we come from a long line of royal cats. We were going exploring too, remember? <laughs> come on. This is great, Dongla. We better be careful. Everyone says this valley is a place of secrets and mysteries. Help me, huh? help me. Shigwa! Shigwa! Where are you, Shigwa? There's no 
no sign of her. This is serious. Where could she be? Come and look at this. She must have gone through here. We're all safe. We may not be. Look! <gasps> we'll be safe here. You. Do you think anyone knows this is here? I don't know. We have to tell Mama and Baba and Uncle Meow. Only, how are we going to get out of here? Are we going to be stuck in here forever? I... I hope not. We found our way in here, so... Um, I guess we can find our way out. What do you think? <gasps> hey, there are cats over here, too. A whole family of them. Hmm. What's more important is this stream must lead somewhere. And the water must come out somewhere. And I think these cats are showing us the way. the way out do you think you could find your way back to that cave Dongwa? no problem i'll lead the way uh, where are we going very interesting very interesting indeed uh, through here is it uh... uncle wait I haven't had this much fun since I fell off the pagoda in the Forbidden City. Oh. You've been to the Forbidden City? The path of history leads to many places. So, you mean these cats are history, Uncle Meow? Indeed, they are, Dangwa. Hmm. So, what are they doing here anyway? Well, let's see if we can find out, shall we? Being a historian is a bit like being a detective. A detective? Wow! This is very old. And it says, these cats were placed here just over 2,000 years ago by the emperor's ancestor. It says here, he wanted to have cats that would protect the shrine forever. Whoa! Let's go and find out. Now, where did you say you saw those other cats, Dongwa? Over here! Oh, 
no problem. I fell into the Yangtze River once. Uh, well, twice, actually. Uh, this is nothing. Oh, that's too bad. Remember I told you I thought we may be able to trace our family back to the time of the Emperor's ancestor? Right. You said we're from a long line of royal cats. No, I only said it was possible, but I haven't been able to find the proof. And I'm afraid these cats don't really tell us anything. Uncle Meow? Yes? There was one other cat. Why don't you show me, Dunkwa? I don't believe it. You found it after all these years. You found it. Wow, I knew we'd find it. Uh, what did we find exactly? The proof. I've been looking in the historian scrolls, and all the time, the historical evidence was in this cave. What are you talking about, Uncle Meow? Take a close look at this cat. What do you see? Well, it looks a little different than the other cats. It's wearing a collar. Uh-huh. And? Hey! That's the Meow family emblem! Yes! Don't you see what this means? The Emperor's ancestor put this cat here, and the cat is a member of the Meow family, and that means... That means that this is one of our ancestors! And that means we're royal cats! Whoa! Tell us some more, Uncle Meow. No, don't tell us more. Tell us everything. <laughs> I thought you said you hated history, Dongwa. Hmm. Well, I guess something must have changed my mind. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. <gasps> Watch out, Uncle Meow! Oh, 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 oh. on the lookout for ways to have fun. I think making and listening to music is great. Although what some consider to be music worth listening to, others do not. You sing with the voice of a thousand angels. Stop it! Stop it! See what I mean? Now, crickets are not considered to be a traditional Chinese instrument, but this is... This is a Mato Chin, which means horse head fiddle. It's like a violin, but is held straight up and down and placed on the ground. And it only has two strings. Some people think it sounds like the movement and sound of a horse. Listen, what do you think? What about you? Do you make music? The pieces that I play are sometimes hard, but still they're beautiful. For example, one song is The Dance of Hours. Once I asked my mom to play Dance of the Hours, and then me, and then the baby, and then my baby sister and I began dancing, um, since it said Dance of Hours. Each time I learn a new song, I like it. Now that was a great story. Hear that? There's Palestinian music in the air. Sometimes what makes music sound different are the instruments used to make the music. Nai, tabala, oud, kanun, daf. Put them all together and you have an Arabic orchestra. I guess people everywhere like the sound of music. Oh. What about you? <laughs> Next on 
and Salga. They're acro cats. I'm going to be an acro cat someday. Someday I'll even perform for the emperor. I want to be an acro cat. I don't think you'll ever be able to do a somersault. Look, it's some kind of traveling show. <laughs> children? How did you like the performance? It was great! There were three cats, and one of them leapt higher than a man's head. I saw one of them fly like a kite. Their ancestors must be dragons for sure, Mama. Look, there they are. Those are just costumes. You see, they're ordinary cats after all. Does that mean that I could be an acro cat someday? It's acrobat. And the answer is... Maybe, but I'm sure it requires a lot of hard work and practice. I want to be an acro cat. Um, acrobat too, Mama. We could travel and people would applaud and cheer us. Boom, 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 bam, boom. Ah! Oh, boom. <laughs> Sogwa is more like an acro splat. Hey, I just need some practice, just like Mama said. Shigua, she was supposed to get a new tail for our kite. I gave her some silk ribbon a while ago. I thought she was with you. Not me. I've been waiting for her for a long time. Whee! Where have you been? You were supposed to come right back upstairs. Look at me! I can do somersaults, just like the acro cats. You've always been able to do somersaults. Shigua! Be careful! <laughs> this is for our kite, not your silly game. What's so silly about it? Anyone can drag a ribbon in their mouth. Watch! But can you do what I did? Sure, I can. Sogwa, I don't think you'll ever be able to do a somersault. I'm sure Sogwa could do as well as anyone. She just needs a little practice, that's all. Now why don't you two go and play and leave me to get my work done? I don't feel like playing with Shigwa anymore. I'm going to go and fly my kite, with or without a tail. Get it 
<laughs> hey, I was just about to get that. Sure, as soon as you grow another inch. Wait, do you want to fly my kite with me? I can't do it alone. Can't you see I'm busy? I'm going to be an acro cat someday. Someday, I'll even perform for the Emperor. Not you, too. Has everyone <laughs> gone crazy around here? <laughs> <gasps> Maybe it only seems crazy to you because you can't jump like I can. I can do anything you can do, and better. Prove it! Why you still can. I'm right behind you. Yahoo! <laughs> Had enough yet? Let's see if you can handle this. would invite you to his palace to see that. <laughs> I could be an acro cat if I wanted to. Of course you could, Sagwa. You can do anything you set your mind to. The acro cats used a ball just like this one. I know I can do this. I'm doing it! I'm standing on the ball! Okay, now how do I climb down from this thing? Whoa! I can't stop! Oh no! The stairs! Whoa, whoa, no! Sagwa, what are you doing? You have to be more careful. I'm just trying to be an acrobat cat. But it's so hard. Cats are best at being cats. Isn't that enough? But Dongwa can jump, and Shigwa can do somersaults. Look at the fingers of her hand, Sagwa. See how each is a different length? Yes. Old Chinese proverb. Everyone is good at something, but usually something different. So Dongwa can jump, and Shigwa can do somersaults. But you have many special talents, too. But acrobatics is so much better than calligraphy. Nobody applauds and cheers when I finish writing a scroll. But, my little Sagwa, it's not just about being cheered for. The satisfaction is not in what others think of your work. It's in knowing that <laughs> you did a good job and in appreciating the things you can do well. so sad. I'm trying to learn to be an acrobat. Shigua and Dongwa are so good at it, but I'm no good at anything special. Well, I certainly wouldn't say that. Everybody is good at something. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, said the same thing. But I want to be an acro cat. Hey, how did you learn to fly? I don't know. Uh, it sort of came naturally, I guess. Maybe it would come naturally to me, too. I won't know for sure until I try, right? Sagwa. Please? Well, maybe there's a way I could show you what it's like. Now, remember what I told you. Lean in to go up, unless there's a downdraft. In which case, you bank out to go right. Uh, never mind. Just use these and try not to hit anything. Ready for takeoff! <laughs> Nothing broken, I hope. Oh no, I've ruined the scroll. My parents worked 
so hard on this. I'd better do it over for them. Hmm. Is it supposed to look that way? I'm not sure. I've never used all these colors before. It's beautiful. How do you do it? I don't know. It just comes naturally. I've always been able to do this. Just like I've always been able to fly. Fly? But what does that have to do with my calligraphy and drawing? Well, like I said, like your Yaya said, everybody has a special talent. For you, art and writing is just like... Flying! <laughs> this is how I can fly! Now you're getting the idea. Sagwa, I noticed you made a few additions to our scroll yesterday. Mama, I'm sorry, but... No apologies are necessary. It was really quite beautiful. Yes, Sagwa. Quite beautiful. Such interesting choices of colors. You are such a talented artist. Yes. You have a special gift. Well, uh, thanks. I mean, thank you very much. I really do love calligraphy. And drawing. It's my favorite thing to do. But I have been working on a couple of other things, too. Oh! Last night, I practiced for an hour on that one. This is the Magistrate, the leader of our entire village. He takes his job very seriously. Here are ten more new rules. Most of the time. As you can see, he loves food. Especially noodles. <laughs> and he loves his family, including us. To my dear family, my sincerest thanks. Gonbei.